Hi guys, welcome to Fifth Horses TV. This is a live video. I'm Lene. That's B in the background. We just got done with our ride. She was a very good girl. And yeah, I wanted to talk about different bits. Just different bits that I have and different ones that I like and the ones that I use the most. Deborah was on here last night and wanted to see a video about that. So I'm hoping she shows up. And yeah, we just um, we just got done with our ride. This is the bit that I rode her in tonight. And this is a three-piece ring snaffle. And it has texture on the mouthpiece. It's not twisted. It's just just um, texture. So it's a little little roughness to it and a little oval for the center piece so this is a very mild bit whenever you have like a lot of breaks in it and looseness like this is a loose ring this slides has a lot of a lot of give and anytime you have a broken mouthpiece and moving parts it's going to be a mild a more mild bit so this is what we used tonight this is one of my favorite um, ring snaffles I use this I like this on both baby and Chansey and I'll show you some other ring snaffles and I have a big collection of bits. I've tried about everything on my appy. <laughs> He's such a good sport. And a bit is only as harsh as your hands are. So if you have bad hands, then I think you really have to pay attention to the kind of bit that you use on your horse and how you use it. Um, now this is like pretty much identical the same bit that I rode in today. The only difference is this one has a smooth mouthpiece. So I would consider this one a little bit more mild just because there's no ridges. It's smooth. So I like to use this one when I lunge. When I lunge them with the bridle and I just hook the, the lunge line to the ring. So this is my favorite for lunging. And I used to use this one on Chansey in the beginning. And this is a twisted wire. It's, I guess, normal, normal um, thickness. And this is more fixed because this doesn't you know, the bit part doesn't slide on the ring. And this is considered, I think it's called an offset D ring. Or, a, yeah, offset O ring or D, D ring. I don't, not sure the name. <laughs> but this is a two piece and this is curved. So that gives a, a little bit of, um, tongue relief this way but this is going to be a little less mild than the three pieces because whenever you go from three piece to two piece it um, yeah gives you just a little bit more control I guess you could say if you need it and I used this on Chansey for a while it did help to get a little bit more lift especially when we were loping and anytime you go from like a loose ring like those to this where it's fixed it makes it a little little um, less mild now these move this way but I haven't used this one in a long time but I used it for a while and this one is um, 
pretty much the same thing it's just a copper mouthpiece and maybe not quite as much of a curve to the mouthpiece but this is supposed to make them salivate more the copper mouthpiece compared to just a regular mouthpiece so I think those are my ring snaffles and um, this one this is my Appy's favorite bit so this is a shank bit it's it's a fairly short shank and you can call this a three-piece mouthpiece too with a little little port so this moves a lot so the cheeks are loose and this whole mouthpiece bends this way so the port <laughs> are you going poopy <laughs> the port he has like a really narrow muzzle and face and this one is a cute little port it fits his mouth perfectly I mean, you don't see these very often usually they're wider and bigger and he just doesn't do well with those he likes this little tiny one so this is um i would call this one um fairly mild it gives a little bit of tongue release you know some horses don't like that tongue pressure and they want to have a space for their tongue to kind of have a little bit of release there so this is um this is his favorite one i've tried so many on him and this is what we ended up with that he really likes it fits his mouth really well a lot of it has to do with their mouth and where they can take the pressure and where they don't like the pressure you know the bars of the mouth or the tongue um, a chin strap so this is what we ended up with that he really likes hi somebody's here um, yeah and this is a just like a, a curb it's a loose um, loose cheek curb this is just all one piece it doesn't move um, a regular curb this would be fixed this the side pieces would be fixed so it wouldn't move um, that's going to be a little going to give you a little bit more control if you need a little bit more control with no moving parts so this one is the very low port and i've used this one on baby before she tends to like this one pretty good fairly short shank and oh thank you um fairly short shank and hi again <laughs> good to see you here how are you doing um yeah so when i first started riding her i used this i don't know three or four times or so and then i went to this one um which i showed you in oh wait um this one i showed you guys in another video oh thank you <laughs> glad you're doing good Um, this is what I ride baby in now. This one and the first, first one that I showed you guys. So, um, this is another fairly short shank and it's a three piece, three piece mouth with a little dog, dog bone in the center. So yeah, she likes, she likes this one with the three piece I like it depends on the horse my appy I don't like riding in something so loose 
I like the last one that I showed you. It's a little, just a little stiffer. And baby, baby does well with this one. She does well with this one too. But we'll probably go back to this later or maybe even show in something like this compared to this. And um, the one that I use on Chansey is this one. Whoops. This is one of his favorite ones. And this is just a two-piece snaffle. His shanks are a little bit longer. This is what I like to show them in. So the longer the shank, the less you have to move your hands. So in the show ring, this one is really good. But this is what I rode in. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of um, a little dirty. It shines up really nice, the, the silver on the side here. Looks really pretty in the show ring. Um, yeah, so this is the one I rode him in yesterday. And I'll be putting that video up soon. I did it with the solo shot. It turned out, turned out really nice. I watched it a little bit ago, part of it. Um, Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is one of my favorite ones. So especially for Western Pleasure, you can just sit up there and just, you know, hold the reins. Very little movement. And this is a DM lifter bit. And what's different about these bits compared to, say, just a regular bit. See, if you, see that's where the bit is on the mouthpiece. See how much taller this one is than this one? That's called the purchase, the part of the bit. That's called a purchase. And the purpose of this one, they say it's called a DM lifter. It's supposed to help you get more lift from your horse. So with this being longer, it has something to do with the purchase being longer compared to most regular bits. Most regular bits, see where it stops right here. And this one goes all the way up here. So most like this one here, if you look at the, the bit, bits right there, it's about the same height, the purchase, the top part. So the purchase is the part from the bit up to where the bridle connects. So see how long this one is? And then for both of these, whoops, for both of these, they're about the same. You can see where the bits are and where the bridle attaches. So that's what the um, DM lifter bits are, what they say they help you with. I think that that probably could be true. Um, I like it because it's kind of heavy. It's a, it's a heavy bit. And like I said, you know, if you're showing you know, when you're just sitting there riding with one hand, you're not really supposed to touch in that much. So you can do just a little bit of movement like this and it kind of gets their attention where if you have something that's a shorter shank or even a ring snaffle, you have to do more movement to get the same reaction. So yeah, once you start getting into longer shanks, I think you have to be really aware of your hands and have soft soft hands you can't have um, you can't have harsh hands and quick hands when you start to get in <laughs> when you start to get into shank bits and especially longer shank bits because the longer the shank the um, less time uh, how does that go uh, a ring snaffle it's more direct it's direct pull and the pressure of pull that you pull is the same. Um, really interesting to see what equipment people ride in other disciplines and why. Um, yeah, I don't know what barrel racers use, what kind of bits you guys use. Do you use similar bits or? Yeah, I think it's interesting too. It's interesting to see what different disciplines use. And um, I'm Western Pleasure, so um, 
Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite ones. I um, I really like riding one-handed. That's how I grew up, with, was one-handed. We showed Western Pleasure when I was little and um, didn't really learn to ride two-handed. Um, some do, we tend to choose fits with more bend, really depends on the horse. So like more, um, oh, oh cool. <laughs> so by more bend, do you mean like, um, I was just, I was just showing this bit like more, more bend like that. Is that what you mean? Like more arch? Like this goes in the mouth this way? More bend or... Um, I think I've seen some barrel. It probably just depends on the horse too, right? Same with barrel racing is Western pleasure. Whatever your horse does well with. Um, yeah, what was I just... Um, and then I know this is kind of not really a gag bit, but like something like this. Is this, you use things like this for barrel racing? I got this, I don't think I've ever used this yet. I was thinking about trying it in the future. Just, <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> I was um, thinking about trying it in the future just because it um, is a twisted wire. I don't really have a twisted wire with um, this is a little bit of a shank, so it would be, you know, a step up from like a ring snaffle probably. So, yeah, I was thinking about trying on, on baby. There's a um, Western, uh, Western pleasure person that I, <laughs> Western pleasure person that I watch. That, um, yeah, he, one of his go-to bits is a twisted wire, but it has just a little bit more of a shank. It's not really like this. This is kind of like, I want to say it's like a butterfly or something, but I was thinking about trying this for baby in the future after we get a little bit more farther along. Um, but this bit here, this is a short shank DM lifter. So this is the same as the one I was just showing you, um, my show bridle, my show bit, but same thing it's just see how short it is so here's here's the mouthpiece and here's where the reins attach so i'll show you the other one um yeah let me put that one there um shorter shanks also movement in the mouthpiece and shanks oh so that's what you guys use lots of movement Oh, okay. Um, that's cool. Um, yeah, you know, I used to ride thoroughbreds when I was younger. I was going to be a jockey, and then I got into bodybuilding. I was in high school and used to come home every day after school and race, um, exercise the thoroughbreds for my parents. They, they raced thoroughbreds, and I um, rode on the big tracks a few times and breezed and got a time. And my next step was to break out of the gates and then I discovered bodybuilding and got into that and went that direction instead. But yeah, for the racehorses, you just use a, um, an egg butt snaffle. <laughs> that doesn't have anything to it really. I mean, it's just this big, you know, big mouthpiece, you know, so the bigger the mouthpiece, the easier it is, the smaller that mouth, mouthpiece gets, the harsher it is. So it gives you a little bit more control. Yeah, it was really cool. I'd be afraid to do it now. It's funny how things change when you get older. <laughs> I was like fearless when I was younger. So you're talking like 17 or 18. Well, no, 17. I think I graduated when I was 17. So like probably 16, 17, 15, 16, 17. I was in 10th grade. And um, yeah, I'd, I wanted to do anything but walk or jog. I just wanted to, you know, lope and and go fast so yeah now I love walking and jogging <laughs> loping's okay um, it's a little bit harder on my back sometimes but yeah funny how things change <laughs> but so this is the 
DM lifter, short shank, and here's the DM lifter regular shank, so you can see the difference. Ugh. Wait, hold on. Ugh. So you can see, see the reins hook down here and the reins hook right here, so it's a lot shorter. So this is kind of, would be kind of a, this one, a next step up from, you know, like a ring snaffle, because right where that rein connects, it's not that much farther down. This is a lot farther down. So I've used this a few times on um, a couple of my horses and then one of my friend's horses I used this on. So um, whenever those, and then this is, I like this one too. I haven't used this a whole lot, but um, I used this on Chansey a few times. And this gives you just a little bit more. Um, it's, it's really broken, so the cheeks are loose. And this actually breaks in the middle like that. And then it breaks this way too. So you got a little port for some tongue relief and yeah, it's just really, really bendy. And the shanks are in average, I would say average. So I like this one too. He, he does, he does well in this one, but um, yeah, I tend to like the two piece with him. So um, that one and oh, this one. I've never used this one. <laughs> I got into a DM lifter kick <laughs> and bought like, I think four different ones. My show one was like about $110. Oh, you always wanted to try a hinge port? Yeah. Um, it's it's kind of just a little bit too bendy for for me for chancy um yeah i don't know it, it's okay um i don't know maybe i'll try it again maybe i'll like it a little bit better but i used it i don't know two or three times or so kind of helped me with his lope a little bit um so yeah maybe i need to go back to that and try that again i you know kind of get um stuck with just my favorite ones that i use and yeah, maybe it's time to go back to that. Um, this one is another DM lifter, <laughs> but look at the port on that one. And it doesn't break in the middle like that last one, but it, you know, it breaks. So it's three piece, three pieces. And the cheeks are loose and the shanks are the same as my just broken mouthpiece, two piece that I ride Chansey with. But yeah, this one, I have a short version of this too, where the reins attach here. And I have used that on one horse a couple times. And yeah, you do get some lift out of it. So yeah, I don't, don't really have a need for this one right now, but I got it. They're like about $100 a piece or so. My, the one with the silver on it was a little bit more, I think, 120 maybe. So. They're not cheap and I've never used this one, <laughs> but I was like, yeah, I just wanted to, um, I got on a DM lifter kick and just wanted to like try them and just realized I didn't really need that one. So that one, yeah, didn't really need it. But um, that's, um, that's all that I brought out here. I brought like quite a few. I don't know if you guys can see my chair here. <laughs> I got a few of them here, so. I went over some of them before some of you guys got here and um, I can go book back over some of them. You guys saw the curb. Did you guys see the, the curb? Yeah, I like, I like curbs. Wimpy does well in a curb. Um, thank you. Yeah, I don't think you can ever have too many bits. <laughs> like I said, it's like 
Wimpy, my appy, I've tried almost everything on him. Even in um, my room over here, I have, um, these are all in my tack room over here. I've kind of gotten it kind of organized, but I still have a bunch of bits in my other room here. And um, I've tried higher ports on him. Um, yeah, just all different kinds of mouthpieces on him. And he's a good sport. He's done well with all of them. And I showed him one time in a, um, well, it was a, a Bob Avila, and it was a higher port, similar, similar to that last one. You may always have a need for one, right? Is that for, um, you can never have too many bits? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was a bit collector for a while you know just because i wanted to yeah <laughs> just because i wanted to like find um i just wanted to try different things because they all have a different feel they all give you something different and with my appy i was just looking for i don't know <laughs> one that that i liked and he liked and but he's pretty good i mean he'll pretty much use anything because if you have good hands you know it doesn't really matter what you use but this bit if you guys didn't see it because I I don't know if anybody was on when I was talking about this one but this is his favorite bit now so it's a little bit shorter shank and um, yeah the port is small little small port it's narrow some of the ports are a little bit wider and he has like such a narrow muzzle and, and mouth and you know tongue he's just kind of small and through through here he wears he can wear like um cob size and in you know certain certain things he wears like a small of the weed weaver halters so he's you know he can wear an average but he's on the very last hole and it's a little bit bigger around the nose but he does well in a small so this fits him he likes just that smaller port and you know this breaks three pieces and it's loose loose cheek so you know it has enough um i don't know i think for me it's like i've i feel their bodies too you know he he's um i don't like super super loose stuff with him because he's kind of a little <laughs> loose so it's almost like one that has just a little bit more um stiffness i don't know if that's the right word like because you know it doesn't bend like when you do it this way it has some um doesn't have as much give and you know i think that's better for somebody like him and chance he's a little more solid and i think that's why i like i like his to his to you know move a little bit more you know so it moves this way and plus, now he's the opposite of Wimpy. He's like really wide through here. So if they're too fixed, um, I almost feel like this up here, the top part, rubs on his face a little bit too much. So he probably, most horses, most average size horses take a five inch mouth. All of, all of these are five inch mouth. I think I have one that's five and a quarter or five and a half. Um, and it's just a regular grazing curb bit. But um, yeah, so this one, because it is more flexible, it opens up so it doesn't really rub on him. So yeah, he's a little more solid. I like, I like this being this way, you know, with him. And because I can pick up and lift and um, he's, he's, he's good at, um, you know, he's not too sensitive to it. Or my appy is like a little too sensitive. Um, to stuff like that so yeah so see his is more it doesn't um doesn't move like that it just moves it just moves this way so yeah and then there's days like um today i rode in my three-piece snaffle so this is my favorite three-piece snaffle i don't think you guys saw this in the beginning this was one of the first ones i talked about i think so this is what i wrote in today 
and um, it's loose ring and three piece and the mouthpiece has texture texture to it so it's not a twist but yeah gives it gets a little bit of a of their attention um, so this is my favorite for actually for Chansey and baby I like this one but I go by how I feel as to which one I use for the day you know like with the ring snaffle you can be more direct with your hands and just really get in there and you know get them bending or whatever you're doing and um, yeah I mean you still have to be easy with your hands but it's um, um, more direct pressure than like your shank bits so yeah you have to be a lot easier with your shank bits and but yeah I just um, I wish Deborah was here <laughs> she wanted to see this I think she had questions but I don't know what she wanted to hear but I just go by how I feel because there's some days where I just want to kind of get a hold of them a little bit more you know just have that direct contact with their mouth and then there's other days where and I think I feel them too there's other days where I can just tell they're going to be a little softer so I'll, I'll use a shank bit instead of um, a ring snaffle so um, yeah I think I went over everything does anybody have any questions Yeah, baby's being a lot better in the background than Chancy. <laughs> Chancy was getting antsy yesterday. So, how are you all doing? There's a third person on here. Say hi. Yeah, I think um, I think too. Sometimes I'll even like if I'm having a hard time deciding what I want to use, I'll bring a couple bits out because I usually have an idea of one you know usually I can pick one but there's just days where it's like oh I don't know should I use this one or this one and I'll bring both of them out and then sometimes I've even gotten off and switched in the middle of a ride just because it's you know they they give you they give you different things and most of the time I can like guess what I'm going to need for that ride just from what I'm feeling for me and then I think I feel my horse too in advance like you know what we're gonna need and yeah just kind of just kind of do it that way oh yeah I love Western I'm glad you're liking it Yeah, I'd like to kind of get into English a little bit more, but I don't know. Western is just so comfortable. So have you ridden Western before or just English? I kind of like when I ask you a question, I wait just because there's a delayed reaction. So, <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Um, okay, well, I think that's about it. I'm kind of all talked out about bits, um, unless somebody has a question. Somebody else came on. No? Okay. Um, yeah, I went through my main ones that I have in the tack room and yeah I have some more in my other room they're, they're not attached to a bridle but I don't really use them I have my favorite ones out here and um, but I usually I, I have like probably about one two three four five about six that I kind of use here and there 
So do you guys have like just like one favorite one or do you like to switch them up too? You know, sometimes when I go to the feed store, I still will look at the bits even though I don't really need any more. But I always look to see if there's like something different something that I don't have yet but seems like it would be kind of fun to try oh I have some mylar bits too yeah I think it is western's a lot more fun <laughs> um yeah I have some mylar bits too I didn't think to bring them out I think they're well actually I have a shorter shank one. Oh, just English yeah I'm basically just western I did ride my appy a couple times English and I have a video on here of me doing that but um he doesn't like it he's kind of yeah I kind of have to push him to go into the trot oh you do do they show Western pleasure or just like trail ride or Yeah, but um, Mylar bits are good too. I like the Mylar bits. Mylar bits are kind of like a, a set mouthpiece. It's kind of bent, the ones that I have anyway. And they twist like this. So all of this is like fixed. So it's just kind of like two pieces, but it doesn't like break really this way. They twist. So I have one with more um, average size shanks and then one with just a little bit shorter shanks. Yeah, because anytime you like go from a ring, whether it's loose or you go from that to a fixed ring, that changes it. Anytime you go from a shorter shank to a longer shank or the um, purchase being different lengths, anytime something like that changes, it's like it just gives you a different feel and it gives you different benefits. Hello, how are you? Um, so yeah it's always fun to try um, different different bits and see what kind of feel you get see how your horse responds to it and um, oh thank you that's my mare baby we just got done with their ride just a little bit ago she was such a good girl and it's about time to like we'll do maybe a riding video tomorrow with the solo shot with her I have one of Chansey's. I'll try to get maybe that edited or some of it edited tonight and get a video up maybe by tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> She's a sweetheart too. She's being a very good girl standing here. She's doing her type time after our ride. Yeah, my gelding, I had him on here behind me last time. Oh, cool. Yay. <laughs> yeah, it's very relaxing here, very peaceful. We usually have a little bit of breeze and stuff and you can hear the leaves and the trees. Um, but yeah, I had my gelding behind me last night. Oh, cool. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> Is it keto extra crispy? Keto style? That's what I haven't tried yet. I, I, I eat keto, pretty much keto, and just lately like keto carnivore. And yeah, somebody was telling me the other day that I could take pork rinds and chop them up. Oh, they, um, oh your friends show? Oh, cool. Do they show um, like local shows or do they, do they do some of the bigger shows? And also trail ride? Yeah, and are they um, like quarter horse people, paint people, Arabian people? Yeah, we have paint shows, like the bigger paint shows, pretty pretty close to here. I did one a couple years ago. Um, well, gosh, it's been, oh my gosh, four years already. It was 2014, I think. Um, or no, wait. Yeah, I think it was 2014. We went and um, we did one and we did really well because when you do the bigger shows, you get not, it's not just one judge, you get like either two or four judges. And it was a day where we had four judges and I think we got two firsts from two different judges and then we got like a second from one and a third from one. So that's kind of neat. 
So the, the local shows are different here than like the bigger shows. I mean, they're, they're kind of judged a little bit differently. So yeah, I was just curious if they did like local shows or the bigger shows. Um, they have quarter horse shows around here too. I think that's more California. And to me that drives a little bit. I think it's, it's a little bit longer and a little bit scarier. <laughs> um, the Fallon shows is where they have the paint shows and yeah, that drive's not too bad. But maybe plan on doing some of those next year. But, um, okay, well, anybody have any questions? Any more questions, any more questions before I end this? She's doing her tie-up time. So we've been on here about 40 minutes. So she's had 40 minutes of tie-up time. <laughs> and I just did it too, because I think she looks cute in the background. My gelding by the end of the video yesterday was like an hour video. And um, yeah, he was getting antsy. He was chewing on the wood and everything. She's much more quiet. She's a good little girl. So who else is here? A couple more people just came on. Say hi. Oh, somebody left. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm about talked out about my bits and bridles. Oh. Susan, are you still here? Do you, um, so you ride two-handed then, since, since you're English, two-handed. Have you ever ridden one-handed? My sister rides English. She likes English. She's gotten into dressage and stuff like that. She likes that better than the Western. I'm kind of, I'm the opposite. And she likes jumping. I've never jumped, but she likes jumping. Oh, it's starting to break up. My battery's probably getting low on my mic. So actually, let me try this. Okay, can you still hear me? I bet my battery's getting low on my mic. I've done a few videos with the batteries that are in it, and I'll probably have to change those out. So I'll do that before I do another video. Because I was wondering about that. I was wondering if it was gonna last. It also could be the connection. I had a hard, hard time with the connection earlier, but um, anyway, well, this video is getting kind of long, and I'm going to go ahead and end it now, and hope to see you guys soon, and I'll try to get a video up hopefully tomorrow, just a regular video. Oh, you're welcome. Um, you have a great night, too. Okay, thank you for coming. It was nice seeing you here. And um, I'll see, oh, you're back. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, my, um, my thing's not showing that anybody's on here. I was just getting ready to um, hang up. <laughs> I guess that's what you'd call it. Yeah, I'm on the keto diet. I started in April and um, yeah, am I a subscriber to you? If not, when I get done, I'll go, I'll go check out your channel um yeah i started april and have been doing it ever since i dropped 12 pounds towards the be beginning part of it and i'm kind of at a standstill but i'm still getting getting leaner and about two weeks ago i kind of felt like i needed more protein so i i kind of tried the carnivore a little bit so i'm kind of like right now in between carnivore and keto basically i mean my carbs are low, non-existent pretty much. Um, with the keto, I was doing vegetable carbs, but um, yeah, I haven't really been doing the vegetables. So basically I've just been eating. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, I was missing chicken. Um, so I added back in. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, the keto recipes, oh my gosh, those look so good. I've tried a couple of them and I've tried the pancake recipe and the recipes, I mean, you don't feel like you're missing anything. Oh yeah, good. Um, yeah, it's very satisfying. Just the things that you can eat. I don't miss the carbs at all. 
you know, because I, I like, I'm liking the fat, you know, like lately I've, I haven't been doing the vegetables, so I'm not getting carbs that way, but I've been doing like red meat, whole eggs, cheese, chicken, um, yeah, kind of, that's what I've been doing lately. Sometimes I might have like a little spinach in a, in a smoothie or something like that with some peanut butter, but yeah but the pork rinds so many things are made with the pork rinds and that's what one of my um, one of my clients she's on it too and she was telling me about that for chicken you can crush up the pork rinds and like use that as like your breading for chicken and stuff like that so I haven't tried that yet but and I just saw a, two different recipes one was pumpkin donuts and one was cinnamon rolls <laughs> keto style so they look really, really good. So yeah, I'll have to go check out your channel. So you do cooking videos? I'm just assuming because your title said chef. Is that is that what your channel is about? My dogs are out here now. Okay, are you still here? I don't know if anybody's still here or not because it showed zero and then two people were here commenting and yeah, now I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll go, oh, oh, okay. Cool. So do you do cooking stuff on your channel? Is that what you do? And can you, can you hear me okay without the mic on? Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, I like, I like my smoothies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm about due for one of those too. I haven't had one in a few days. Need to get a little bit of vegetables in. <laughs> no no yeah I don't um, I can't have the bananas on the keto diet so but I was I used to use bananas in my smoothies but whenever I make them now it's just vegetables so it's either like spinach kale um, yeah and just like some some green powders to get more of the greens in and then peanut butter usually apple cider vinegar yeah I can't have the, the simple carbs. In the very beginning of keto, I used blueberries in my smoothie until I kind of got away from the carbs. I, I'm pretty sure my body's, I think I'm fat adapted by now. My body's running more off of fats than carbs and I have so much more energy with this. Yeah, I was kind of surprised and that's what they say that you just when your body starts to run off of the fat fuel instead of the carb fuel it, fat fuels a lot cleaner and it gives you a lot more energy and I find that for myself to be true it's easier to do cardio and stuff like that without getting as winded and it just feel, it feels like it can go longer it's supposed to be a really good diet for like endurance athletes just because your body kind of digs into that, your fat stores too, and you can just go longer. So I'm just kind of rambling right now. <laughs> anybody, anybody have any questions about keto or bits? <laughs> Okay, well this is getting kind of long. We're almost at 50 minutes and it's time for her to get her little snack. She was a good girl. So um, I'm going to go ahead. Um, I've been on, I've been on it for um, about five months, since April. So yeah. And, and um oh okay <laughs> okay yeah I gotta get her 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 little snack so nice to see you here 
and thank you guys for everybody that watched. Thank you for the thumbs up. If you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay? Bye-bye.